you know, I, I don't want to I don't want to seem like the ivory tower PhD biologist and say these people you need to get rid of these myths, but <laughs> I I just like to make sure that these people have kind of the scientific information they need to evaluate these things on their own. And you know, sometimes it's these are fun natural history stories, but I do want to spend some time distinguishing between what there is evidence for and what we should probably be a little bit skeptical of. Um, and so the, the second one is probably using the shape of a snake's head to identify it. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that's a common one. A lot of people learn that if you have a snake that its head is that shape, that it's venomous, a triangle or a diamond or, or an arrow shaped. And it's true that I can look at some of these snakes and kind of make out the subtle differences. But if you're not really used to seeing snakes a lot, it's, it's all relative, right? And every snake has a head, it's a skull, it's at least relatively triangle shaped. Uh, so a lot of people will you know, turn any snake they see into one that has a triangle shaped head. Um, so that one, that one has got to go. I think that's pretty common too. I believe my eldest son, we were looking at a Ranger Rick magazine or uh, National Geographic Kids and I believe there was a diagram in there that brought that up so it's very common yeah and you know the the target for my books aren't necessarily the people that don't know better uh some of it is to these environmental educators and these herpetologists because they haven't really you know they take say these tips but then they don't really evaluate how those tips are being remembered and perceived and put in action yeah. Uh, so yeah you, you you're gonna see those rules of thumb anywhere <laughs> So what are the exceptions uh, in terms of snakes that violate this rule? Sure, and, and I don't even like calling it a rule. It's kind of like a general <laughs> rule of thumb. It's a relative head shape. Uh, but uh, that triangle head shape is uh, associated with pit vipers. These are the rattlesnakes, cottonmouths, copperheads. Uh, but there are other types of venomous snakes too, like coral snakes. They're in the Elapidae family, cobras. Hmm. Australian brown snake, um, mamba. These are not pit vipers, and they don't have that relatively triangular shaped head. So please keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. And is there a non-venomous snake that has a triangular shaped head? This is where it gets really tricky yeah. because... Many snakes, when they're feeling defensive, they will initiate body postures that actually make them look like they have a triangular-shaped head. Uh, this probably deters predators who are know that that shape is venomous, and then they'll go away. Uh, but we don't know that. We just see a snake, ven uh, non-venomous water snakes do this a lot, and there's pictures of it in my book. Yeah, it's like a perfect triangle. But it's just a defensive strategy. They're they're not venomous. But that would I mean that would seem to indicate that there is something to that that triangular shape, right? Yeah, it's true. And uh, you know what we have to think about is that when we give these tips and tricks and help people identify snakes, uh, it, it can't. It, I mean, there's a basis. There's a kernel of truth there. Yeah. But when but when you're not used to looking at these snakes, like I said, everything is relative. Uh, so if you're a hawk and your life depends on you identifying the right kind of s snake, you probably have a better uh, sense of what's venomous or not than an average person that sees one snake a year.